Sia Kotsan's husband had a top secret job for the Soviet space program, testing the limits of the human body. He was once submerged in water for two months. They'd have to eat, go to the toilet and even sleep like that. If you couldn't control your body, you'd drown. Roman Kotsan died prematurely at the age of 58. We have no desire to celebrate this anniversary. Not only are test engineers like my husband forgotten, they've been betrayed by this country. It was from here that Yuri Gagarin became the first man in space, shooting to fame around the world. But little is known of those who lost their lives to put the Soviet Union ahead of the Americans in the space race. But more is being uncovered like the revelations made in this book about the early Soviet space program. I think it's fair to tell the, st the background stories of all cosmonauts and all astronauts who have faced difficulties and who sometimes have found that the needs of government and the needs of national pride have sometimes pushed launch schedules too fast. This was the case for cosmonaut Vladimir Kamarov, a close friend of Yuri Gagarin. Before the launch, Gagarin and senior technicians discovered hundreds of structural problems with Kamarov's spacecraft. Despite the dangers, Kamarov chose to fly, protecting Gagarin, the backup pilot, from near certain death. On re-entry, the capsule's parachutes failed to open. US listening posts picked up this recording, possibly Kamarov's last words. The heat is rising, he shouts crying in desperation. Kamarov's incinerated remains were displayed in an open casket. The dark side of the space race has many victims. While some are remembered, the majority remain unknown. Neve Barker, Al Jazeera, Baikonur.